What's up everyone, welcome back to another video and today is part two of how I started my claw machine business in 2022. Before we get into the video, I found some old clips of me in 2022 summarizing what actually happened that day with like more with more detail. And yeah, the second time I filmed it, it was just off of memory nearly a year later. If you want to skip past the details, the rest of the video starts right here. But besides that, I hope you enjoy the video. I'm back home now and I am exhausted. <laughs> Today was a whole mission, like really, it was truly, I literally found this machine on offer up today, this morning. When I woke up, I was just scrolling, just like how people scroll Instagram, I scroll offer up. So I saw this machine and they said, you can pick this up today for $350 if you pick it up today. And I was like, okay, that man, that's a great deal, but there's no way I'm gonna be able to get it today. And the more the day went, <laughs> the more i was thinking to myself like i need to i need to find a way to get that machine then i was like i don't have enough money i don't have a ride i don't have movers i just searched for movers on offer up since i was on there and then when i got home from collecting my money from my full line machines i'll link that video right here but i counted my money and i didn't have enough for both movers and buying the machine so yeah, I didn't know what I was gonna do. I even thought about like putting together a loan proposal <laughs> and asking somebody for a loan, like a couple hundred dollars and I get paid for my job like next week. So I, I would have enough money next week, but today I didn't. But yeah, so I was calling the movers and he could have got there on time if he left like an hour earlier, <laughs> but he didn't. So those my movers couldn't come. And even if they could come, I couldn't afford it. So I was calling the seller. I was literally like, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Um, I really want your machine, but I don't think my movers are gonna be able to get there on time. And then she was like, oh, movers, don't don't worry. We have, I have neighbors here. They can, if that's what you're worried about, my neighbors here could help. I was like, no way. And she was like, yeah, just rent a U-Haul and bring it over here. Um, also, it comes with a lift gate, so you don't actually have to lift that much. I was like, no way. Like my mind was, I was like, no way. Am I actually gonna be able to get it through today? And then I got a U-Haul and it didn't have a lift gate. I didn't know how I was gonna get it on there. I was just trusting the process. And then when we got over there, I tested the machine and the coins got stuck. So it was just ch like challenge after challenge. The coins got stuck. I was like, shoot, did I just drive? I mean, not me, my mom. Like, did we just drive all the way here for the machine to not work? And then she, she unjammed it and fixed it. Um, and the machine actually worked perfectly. That just happened to happen. Yeah, after that, we were figuring out how we were gonna get the machine onto the truck without a lift gate. And these were like old ladies. <laughs> they were strong old ladies, so they were very strong. It was ridiculous, actually. This one old lady, the seller, she was, she was sick. So she drove the car around in a way. And let me try to explain this visually real quick. So pretend this is 3D and this is the truck. I didn't know how we would get it up here without a lift gate. The machine was kind of on a ramp. So she reversed the car, this big giant U-Haul in the middle of a busy street back here and stopped traffic. And then she asked a random person and a couple of her neighbors to help. And they just, when she drove it around by the ramp, it was lower, so they just pushed it in. It was crazy. Also, if you're one of those people that helped and you're watching this, thank you. <laughs> you didn't know me or her, so I just really appreciate you helping. And after we got it onto the truck, we drove back. That's just some of the problems. I'm not gonna list all the micro problems. I'm just grateful that I got the machines here today. Got my first claw machine. And I'm really excited because with a claw machine, um, it's not like a vending machine where the snacks expire. You don't have to refill it as often because with the claw machine, people don't, um, they don't always win. So yeah, it's gonna be a lot more passive for me, hopefully. So. I think I'm just going to keep it at my house for a little bit to get to know the machine, figure out how all the parts work, and, and just play with it. It's fun. And then I'm going to go find a location and then go put it over there. Also, another challenge I forgot to mention is she didn't have the key. Her daughter has the key on her keychain, and she was working at Knott's Berry Farm, which is like an hour from where we were. So she's going to have to drop the key off tomorrow. Hopefully she does. If not, then I'm gonna have to drill the lock, it's such a pain, but I'll have to drill the lock and buy a new one. And then from there, then I'll keep the machine for a little while, play with it, figure out how the parts work, and then find a location. So right here's the lock, and I'm about to drill it out. Hopefully we can get this thing to work. So my drill bit just broke, and now it's 
stuck inside there, so I gotta find a way to get it out. I found these tiny screwdrivers around the house. A few moments later. <laughs> I found these tiny screwdrivers <laughs> around the house, so I can use it to pull it, <laughs> to pull it out. Come here, come video. <clears throat> There we go, got it out. Now I'm just gonna use this other drill bit that I found to, I think it's for wood, but it's, I'm deep enough through that I think it's gonna actually work. What if you just like use a hammer and then hit it from the side? Oh my gosh. So this is the one that locks the beans. Let me see. Dude. I've been trying at that for like a month. Oh yeah? Yeah. Oh but my this gosh. Is different, eh? It is? So yeah. is it not gonna work? It's different. So we just got the machine open and I asked him if I could pay him because technically like he's just remodeling the house and I just asked him if he might have the right tools, but he said to just buy him lunch, so I'm gonna go give him $20. Finally. But we finally got it open and let's see how much money was left. Okay, so there are three dollars in here. I'm pretty sure two of them are mine. And they're right here in the coin drawer. And then there's also the broken bits in there. But... Back up for me. Help. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> I have to bend it. Hold on. Ready? It's not showing you. Right. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching and as you guys saw i had a lot of fun editing this video 
and that was for two reasons. One, because I recently got CapCut Premium, but two, I actually got locked out of my house on the day I was editing this uh, by accident, so I had some hours to spare. That being said, it did take forever, so I definitely won't be editing like that all the time. However, when my budget does permit, I will be looking for editors, so if you edit content, DM me on my Instagram down below. As for my experience with the lock, it was terrible, man. Like, I made it look fun in the video, but between not having the right tools, my hand injuries, um, the stress of just like, I just the way that I am, I wanted to get it on location already. Then my parents wanted it out of my house, and then I had like other stuff going on in my life. And I tell you that not just to complain. The reason why I tell you that is to emphasize that the circumstances were a lot less than ideal, but we still made it work somehow. Just to give you guys a little perspective, when I was drilling the machine, it was actually literally physically painful because the vibrations were sending into my, my injuries that ran through the whole my whole arm. So when I was drilling through, I felt it throughout the whole arm. It was extremely painful. But I, what other choice did I have? I had the machine at my house. I needed the lock drilled out. And yeah, there was no other choice. Maybe you're watching this thing about a challenge you're wrestling with in your life. Maybe it's entrepreneurial, maybe it's physical, but no matter what aspect of life it is, I need you to keep pushing, bro. No matter what aspect of life it is, if that's the only path, that's the path you gotta go through. Maybe it's the path of pain, maybe it's the, path, the ugly path. No matter what it is, you have to go through that way until God reveals to you another way. So it'll either work or you'll find another way. And for me, that was the, the, home, the home improvement people. Which brings me to my second point. Don't be too proud to ask for help, bro. Sometimes it's bigger than you. Sometimes you don't know how to do it. And that's what it is. You tried as hard as you could. You went through the pain, but it still wasn't working. Don't be afraid to ask for help because you can get a lot more done with the help of others. So I want you to keep going until you overcome that challenge. And once you do, and you will, once you do, I want you to leave in the comments how you overcame it. So until next time, I'll see you in the next video. So I found the, <clears throat> so I found these tiny screwdrivers around the house and no, no, no. All right, ready? Go. So I found these tiny screwdrivers around. So I'm just, so I found these tiny screwdrivers around and I think, oh my gosh, I can't do this if you're going to laugh. You want to laugh? Do you want me to get it up? Yeah. Do you want me to get it out? Okay, be quiet. Ready? I'm gonna say it again. Don't laugh. <laughs> oh my gosh. So I found these. Your fingers. Your fingers. They're not on the camera. I don't care. Don't record like that. Um, where did I find these? Um. Ba, ba. All right. So I found these tiny. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> my is my face too serious? No. All right. Ready. <laughs> So I found <laughs> uh, All right, seriously. Uh, <laughs> I don't even know what you're laughing all at. All right. So I <laughs> It wasn't funny until you started laughing. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know right, what I'm record, laughing record, at. Record. Actually, I know what I'm laughing at. I'm laughing Go. at you. I'm laughing. <laughs> Keep recording. I'll, I'll go when I'm ready. In a minute. <laughs> so I found these tiny screws. <laughs> All right, I'm ready. So I found. <laughs> Stop laughing. All right, I'm ready. I'm ready. Stop. I, I was ready, and then you keep laughing. Come on, <laughs> record. Hold it. Hold it. You can smile, but just don't make noise. <laughs> so I found this. <laughs> oh my gosh! Come on, dude. <laughs> You're ready. You keep laughing. I was smiling. Hold it with the other hand. Hold it with the other hand. <laughs> so you, you said I could smile. Alright, smile. <laughs> so I found. <laughs>
Stop! <laughs> All right, come on, come on. I found these two screwdrivers around the house, so I can use it to pull, to pull it out. Come here.